What's up guys? Welcome back to Texas Young Guns. As you can hear, it is echoey. I am sitting in our new cover for Blue Bonnet. It is a 18 by 46 foot building. As you can see behind me, it was put up in about two days. Uh, we used a company called Allen's Factory Outlet. I don't know how they're doing it these days in COVID times when material is three times as much as it usually is. Uh, but they were thousands of dollars cheaper than anybody else. Um, they have a partnership with Carolina Carports, but they did it in about two days, which to me is pretty amazing to get a building of this size uh, put together in that time. As you can see, we're in the front here. Um, we still have to put some kind of concrete ramp in the front so Blue Bonnet can get up into it. Um, but of course, we haven't put Blue Bonnet on it yet because we're giving the concrete a full month to get as strong as it can before we get the full brunt of Blue Bonnet because she weighs uh, about 26 to 28,000 pounds plus all of our junk that's in it. But man, I am super stoked. It is something to be said about paying someone to build it for you and you just kind of show up and it's done um, other than everything else I've done in my life where I kind of built it myself. So man, this is, this is a, uh, super nice like i said this building is 18 by 46 blue bonnet is about nine feet wide so we should have plenty of space uh, to open up the slides in here if we really need to my plan is to actually run power um, to the back over there uh, that way we can plug it in when she's home to keep the batteries maintained because basically that's what we're doing right now where it's at and guys trust me i am stoked to get blue bonnet out of our driveway because uh, it really just kind of uh, impedes the space we have in the driveway and the flow of uh, parking and vehicles because we normally have it parked at our shop so my next project is to dig some trenches and uh, get some power to this thing maybe some lights above we'll see by the way that's very high up there I don't even know if I have a ladder that will get up there <laughs> but hey guess what I'll have an RV in here soon enough and I can use it as a a big stand to step on and uh, or stand on and install the lights. So that's nice. Well, let me take you back in time and let's go through the process of what we had to go through to get the building constructed. As you can see, we had to get a load of dirt brought in, actually a few loads of dirt, which wasn't too bad. And what that dirt does is it allows the concrete guys to get to slab level, takes care out of any valleys or anything like that. As you can see, you can see it underneath and surrounding the slab. Um, these are the guys here bringing in concrete and getting the slab poured. Um, these guys who are local to Winnie are actually very good. The guy's name is Leonard. Um, they're very good concrete guys. I pretty much use them exclusively for um, any of my slab work that I get done. Um, they're very good, very caring on their work. Just a good set of guys. And you can see here we're fast forwarding a couple months later. Um, the Allen's factory or Carolina Carports guys showed up. Um, and they're actually starting to put the frame on that concrete slab. Interestingly enough, uh, Carolina Carports had me pour the slab about six inches wider than the actual size of the building um, and and they required that but going back now I probably wouldn't have done that because it just gives us a place for water to sit and seep underneath the building but I'll get some concrete sealant and make it a big deal <laughs> and there's our uh, local gypsy dog Danny she's uh, helping out with the construction she's supervising we call her a gypsy dog because she really doesn't have an owner she has a few owners but she definitely loves us You can see here they're actually making pretty good progress on the metal. It was amazing how fast these guys work. Um, I assume that they've probably done hundreds of buildings, if not more. Um, I think they're paid by the building that they do, so they have a lot of incentive to do it fast, and um, they certainly did. You can also see that I, we went with the vertical roof. Um, it's supposed to dissipate rainwater and leaves and such a lot better. Um, we went with three sides closed. That way we have maximum protection from the sun, which is really an RV's worst enemy. Um, and obviously white with uh, brown trim, which is pretty much how our house is and our shop is. So 
it turned out really well. We're really happy with it. We're happy with the construction and uh, can't wait to get Blue Bond in it. By the way, this video is no way sponsored by Carolina Carports or Allen's Factory, um, but I will link the uh, location, their website for Allen's Factory Outlet below if you choose to use them. Um, just know it's a little slow on deliveries right now. Um, they warned us when we ordered that it would take uh, maybe 100 up to 180 days and it took uh, it took probably three months two to three months maybe uh, maybe over three months somewhere in that range let's just call it three months plus or minus um, to actually get it delivered and built so um, believe me they're they're booked up and uh, with COVID going on and supply shortages it's going to take a little bit but to me the savings obviously were worth it and uh, the best part is is I got engineering drawings and certification up to i think it's 100 and 150 miles an hour 100 and something miles an hour which is uh, really important because we live in south texas where the hurricanes and stuff are so prevalent uh, so if something happens to it they have to fix it which is really cool and uh, also our insurance will love that as well What do you think of it? So glad that I finally have it. Yeah, it's been like years in the making, right? It's been years in the dreaming process and now it's it's here. How do you like that I used our jack pads to get up onto the concrete? Not ideal, but I'm even uh, more upset that you tracked so much mud in me. <laughs> and when it dries. Brand new concrete, all muddy. We'll get a, we'll get a shovel. I got a little stuck right there. Not stuck, but it sunk a little bit. What's your favorite part of having the cover? She's out of the driveway. <laughs> well, now we have our driveway back. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, she's protected from the sun. We're pretty lucky that we have trees, so, you know, it hasn't been too damaging to her. But I feel a lot better that she's enclosed and out of the sun. Oh, we have to show them the footage of what we had to do to prepare this when somebody got in the tree. Oh. Tell me we're going to put that footage in here. Yeah, we'll uh yeah, we'll we'll throw this footage right here and remember do not do this. No. <laughs> was almost really bad. What? It almost took the ladder. Uh, well, there you go. Blue Bonnet is now covered in a good way. <laughs> so, like I said earlier, I'll uh, put the links down below for Allen's Factory. Um, like I said, no way sponsored the video, but I would say we're pretty happy with them, right? Yeah, um, they were much quicker on their turnaround time than what they originally quoted us. Um, they put it up super fast, uh, by far the cheapest that we were able to find and the crew that came out was pretty nice because yeah. it's not ideal weather for them, but they still got it done. Yeah. So finally our investment has a little bit of protection to it. So well, with that guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.